A lot of action camera in the market today are all in square shape form factor, but the SJ Cam N20 has this rectangular shape, unique design, a bit taller, 30% smaller, and 20% lighter than the previous models, the M10. It can shoot up to 4K videos and it has a 16 megapixel photo resolution. We'll get to that later on. What's up guys, Action here and this is my unboxing and review of the SJ Cam N20 action camera. The SJ Cam N20 is a very affordable action camera that I got from Gearbest.com. I wasn't expecting a fast shipping since it will come all the way from China. The link is provided in the video description so make sure you check them out. Starting with the packaging, it's pretty straightforward. Opening the box, it's not complicated at all. Just slide it open, pull the cover, and you can access the camera together with the 14 typical accessories all completely compatible with the GoPro. Now uh, let's check out the camera. The firmware version I'm using is 1.2.6. The camera comes with its 7 colors, white, yellow, blue, gold, silver, red, and black. The SJ Cam M20 is made of a plastic that makes the camera light and it feels sturdy to me. I love the matte finish on the front and textured side of the body. Looking on the front, you will see the 166 degrees adjustable high definition lens with an image Sony sensor IMX206. As we all know, uh, Sony makes a good sensor. Max image resolution is 16 megapixel, also supported down to VGA quality. So picture samples later in this video. Uh, below the lens, the SJ Cam branding and the LED light indicator. On top, uh, you can see two buttons. On the left side is the power button to turn the device on and off. And on the other side is the shutter button. Between them is the power LED indicator light. You can also use the power button to switch between shooting modes. On the left side, we have a mini HDMI port to connect your TV or monitor. Next to that, a mini USB port uh, to charge and connect in the camera to your PC. And uh, finally, a slot for a micro SD card uh, supported up to 128GB of memory. On the right side, we have the up and down button uh, to navigate through the menu. You can also use the up button to switch the Wi-Fi on. Between them is the microphone to pick up the sounds. On the back side, you'll see the 1.5 inches LCD screen. You can actually see what you're recording. Also, the screen can view video and photo playbacks. Below the LCD screen, uh, you'll find the speaker. Once the device is open, you can see two tiny indicator lights on uppermost part. And here at the bottom, uh, you'll find the uh, battery compartment. Uh, to open this up, uh, you just have to slide this uh, mini door. This device can boot up around 7 seconds. First thing I notice is the sharp and bright screen display. You can still see it on daytime or bright sunlight. And here uh, we find the basics on top left corner. You'll find the filming logo. It means you're in the video mode. The filming logo will turn yellow indicating that the recording already started. Next to that, a current resolution. Uh, it is set to 1080p at 60 frames per second. We also have a mic logo on top, which means microphone is picking up sounds. When deactivated, it will also change into color yellow. Next, a battery indicator. Uh, below, we have a current date. Uh, time display and how much space remaining in the memory card. If you press the power button once while on the mini mode, it will take us to the picture mode. You'll see a photo icon on top left corner. The M20 can shoot image size up to 16 megapixel with a 4 is to 3 resolution, down to 2 megapixel with a 16 to 9 resolution. What's great about this miniature camera, you can also shoot on raw photos. The camera captures a good detailed image but sometimes there's a image noise in low light conditions. So this camera has a lot of different modes. You can access two different system settings. First is by clicking the down button on the side of the camera while on the video and photo mode. And second by clicking the power button twice. You can even set this manually for example changing the exposure value. Uh, you color, uh, white balance, and sharpness, or even you can change the field of view or uh, FOB, allowing you to shoot the wide, middle, and narrow. The camera is capable of recording of these frame rates a uh, 4K at 24 frames per second, 2K at 30 frames per second. 
1080p or a full HD at 60 and 30 frames per second, 720p at 120, 60, and 30 frames per second, and finally, a battery smooth 240 frames per second but in a VGA quality. In terms of video quality, uh, the camera records nicely. Uh, I'm always using a 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, for me, this is the best recording settings for this camera and I'm very satisfied with the video quality. Low light performance is pretty decent. Uh, it records a sufficient amount of details, but there are times uh, I'm picking up uh, some image noise, uh, which is very disruptive. The N20 has a lot of useful features like the gyro anti-shake. So check this uh, split screen, guys. On left, gyro is off. On right, gyro is on. You can actually see on the right screen, the VD is more stable. Car mode, uh, if you're going to use a dash cam, uh, the camera automatically records when the engine starts. So make sure power on record is switched on on the menu settings. You can also do a slow-mo videos. you can do a awesome time-lapse video. On my testing, the battery lasts for about 1 hour and 41 minutes in continuous recording in 1080p at 60 frames per second on one charge. I do recommend buying an extra battery if you're traveling because charging this camera would last about 1 hour and 30 minutes. The N20 supports a wireless connection. Pairing the N20 to your smartphone is very easy with these steps. Download and install the app SJ Cam Zone on your uh, smartphone or tablet. For a quick search, you can scan QR code on the side of the box. Uh, this is available for iOS and Android devices. Press Wi-Fi or app navigation key on the camera. A Wi-Fi icon will appear on the screen. Uh, now, uh, enable Wi-Fi on your device. Uh, search Wi-Fi M20 and connect. So the default password is 12345678. When connected, open the SJ Cam Zone app. So in the app, uh, you can change resolution uh, settings, uh, record a video or take a photo and so on. The only downside using the app is there's a delay or lag and it consumes more battery. So here's my final thoughts on the M20. My only complaint is that some of my shots in low light conditions have an image noise and booting time is a bit slow around 7 seconds. Not a true 4K camera but it performs well on perfect daylight conditions. It can produce nice color, sharp images, sound quality is average. <coughs> I love the gyro on the shake, it's very useful. Firmware is stable, uh, so far not having any issues since day one. 
and has a decent build quality in a small form factor. And a good uh, alternative to GoPro, especially for the price, you can get this for only 120 US dollars at gearbest.com. So there you have it guys, uh, this is my unboxing and review of the SJ Cam M20 4K action camera. Comment down below what you think about this camera and click the thumbs up button uh, if you enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe uh, for more action camera video reviews on my channel. Until then, action here. Thank you guys for watching.